Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to Noonday Prayer. Uh, my name is Michael Mitchell, and I'm going to be um, leading us in Noonday Prayer on Fridays um, to help the clergy cover all of the uh, events they must. We'll be getting started in about three minutes. The um, order for Noonday Prayer is on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, today's scripture reading is going to be from uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 30 through 44. This will pick up uh, the continuing story that was read yesterday where Jesus is uh, with Martha and Mary and Lazarus has died. Please put your prayer requests in the, uh, in the comments section. And when we get to prayers for the people, we will uh, pick up those prayers. We have a couple more minutes to go and then we will get started. Glad you all are here. I'm looking forward to uh, joining you in, in uh, Noonday Prayer today. Hello, Karen. Glad you're here. Hi, Vicki. Glad to see you. We've got about one more minute and we will get started. Again, this is the um, order for Noonday Prayer is on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. and add your prayer requests in the uh, comment section and we'll pick those up uh, later in the, in the service. Well, it is 12 noon and we will get started. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We'll read the psalm from Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
The scripture that we're reading today continues the story of Jesus and Lazarus that we started yesterday. This was in John chapter 11, verses 30 to 44. Jesus had not yet come to the village of Bethany, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. The Jews who were with her in the house, consoling her, saw Mary get up and quickly go out. They followed her because they thought that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, where have you laid him? And they said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, see how he loved him? But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus again, greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone was laying against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he's been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you have sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. This is an amazing scripture. Um, Yesterday, Ashley was pointing out Jesus calling upon the people to, to believe. He was talking to Martha and, and asked Martha to believe in him. And today, it pushes it even further. Mary is talking about, Jesus, if you'd just gotten here in time, before Lazarus died, you could have healed him and kept him alive. And people in the crowd were saying, well, he could heal the blind man. We saw that happen. Why couldn't he have gotten here? He could have helped Lazarus stay alive. He could have healed Lazarus if he'd gotten here before he died. But Jesus is um, calling upon people to do something very miraculous. He is asking them to step up their belief to a new level and realize that with God, everything is possible, even the impossible. They believe that it's too late. Lazarus is already dead. He's been dead for four days. There's nothing left that can be done except grieve. And even Jesus grieves with them. But then he has asked them to step up their belief to a new level and he heals Lazarus. He raises him from the dead and brings him out of the tomb. He says this was to help glorify the work of God and so that people would realize that God was within Jesus. He's uh, pointing out that <clears throat> Our faith can grow to such a point that even the impossible can happen when we call upon God and, and, ask for, and ask for God's help, that even the impossible can occur 
asking us in our lives to uh, step up our belief to heights that, uh, that we may not have known before. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. We'll scroll down here and see what prayers we have today. Vicki, it's good to see you. Sam, good to see you. Mark, it's good to see you too. And Vicki, I'm glad everybody is here today to join in noonday prayer. We'll lift up those prayers for people that may be on your hearts. Uh, we pray for the uh, royal family as Queen Elizabeth has passed and for the British people as they go through the process of honoring her. We pray also for the people in Ukraine and people around the world who are suffering. Thank you very much for being with us today and noonday prayer and helping me with uh, my first uh, time leading noonday prayer with you. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being here today. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.